fermentation. What happens when no oxygen is available? What we see in certain cell types, like ours, we do lactic acid fermentation. So every cell sort of does either a lactic acid fermentation or an ethanol fermentation. And that's just what they do. They don't have a choice. So we take <clears throat> glucose, do normal glycolysis, make our two pyruvates. And in lactic acid fermentation, the enzymes that kick into gear when there's no oxygen available break down NADH, steal those hydrogens, dump them onto pyruvate to form lactic acid. That regenerates the NAD, which we need to keep glycolysis going. Why do we care about keeping glycolysis going? Because we need those two ATPs to use for other processes, right? We make four, we use two to keep glycolysis going, we have two extra to do everything else, transcription, translation, uh, all the different processes that the cell needs to do to stay alive. So that's lactic acid fermentation. What about cells that do ethanol fermentation? Those guys process a little different way. Again, glycolysis is exactly the same no matter what we're talking about. We end up with these two pyruvates, we've made our two extra ATPs, we've made our NADH. In this case, the enzymes process pyruvate first to an intermediate called acetaldehyde in the process releasing two CO2s. We pull some carbons off, one carbon off of each one, two carbons total, CO2. And then we dump the hydrogens on that intermediate in order to create ethanol. In the process, we regenerate the NAD+, which allows us to keep doing glycolysis to get those precious two ATPs to do other work. And in this case, the byproduct happens to be ethanol and CO2. If you notice in lactic acid, we just make lactic acid. There's no release of carbon dioxide, just lactic acid right, directly dumping hydrogens onto pyruvate. If you are a cell that has other enzymes, not the ones that can make lactic acid, then you have to process to acetaldehyde, releasing CO2, dumping hydrogens on this acetaldehyde to make ethanol. You are an ethanol fermenter. And there you go. That's it. That's fermentation.